We're learning more tonight about the two New Year's Day shootings that have Middletown police working overtime. Police have their hands full trying to collect surveillance video and interview a number of witnesses, some of whom are still in the hospital. Nine on your side's Butler and Warren County reporter Jay Warren is live for us now at police headquarters in Middletown with the story. Jay. Well, Carol, Chief Rodney Muterspa says that they do have some leads as to who shot and killed Teresa Shields, so they're not in a position to release that information right now. She was killed after someone opened fire into the car she was riding in. It was after 2 o'clock in the morning New Year's Day when a neighbor along Roosevelt called 911. I was just woke up to about 10 gunshots um, uh, over here on Roosevelt right across the street from AK Steel. Those shots struck and killed 26-year-old Teresa Shields. The shots also struck the driver, Steve Walden, though he survived. The dispatcher pressed the caller for more information. I didn't hear no return fire. I just heard about 10 shots. And it wasn't too long before that that the driver of this car may have exchanged gunfire with someone outside the 513 lounge. A plainclothes officer working security ordered the car to stop, but the driver took off, say police, and several guns were thrown out of the car. Eventually, that car crashed, killing the passenger, Mariana Maria Richland. Today, Middletown's Chief Rodney Muterspa talked about where they are with the investigations. We have about four different teams out there working on this, going to different locations, um, dealing with the hospitals, trying to get information from the, the people that were shot. And while the parties from both locations were at the 513 Lounge New Year's Eve, police still cannot say whether the shooting and subsequent crash of this car has anything to do with the shooting that claimed the life of Teresa Shields. And if police know what started everything off, they're not saying right now, but the chief does say that it might be more than just the escalation of a bar fight. There's much deeper, we think there's much deeper issues that happened that had nothing to do with the 513, that it just happened to be that's where that group ended up. And police are still looking for help from the community. They want information on a white Jeep Cherokee with dark rims. If you have any idea who that driver is or where that vehicle might be located, call Crime Stoppers at 352-3040. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Middletown.